Have you ever had a teacher with literally no common sense? My chemistry teacher, Mr. Davidson, was absolutely convinced that I was building bombs in his classroom. He just finished some school safety seminar about dangerous students and decided I was his prime suspect. Why? Because I actually paid attention and asked questions about chemical reactions. It started when I asked why sodium explodes in water during our alkali metals unit. I'd watched YouTube videos about it and was genuinely curious about the electron transfer process. Mr. Davidson's eyes narrowed. Why do you want to know about explosions, Jake? Because that's what we're studying? I replied, confused. He pulled me aside after class. I'm watching you. Kids who ask too many questions about dangerous reactions are usually planning something. The next week, during our acids and bases lab, I mixed the solutions exactly as instructed. My beaker started fizzing more than others because I'd measured precisely while my lab partner had eyeballed everything. Jake! Mr. Davidson shouted across the room. Step away from your station immediately! The entire class turned to stare as he rushed over in a panic, knocking over someone's notebook. What did you add to that mixture? He demanded. Just the hydrochloric acid and sodium bicarbonate like the instructions said. I stammered. That's way too much reaction. You're trying to create a dangerous situation. He confiscated my lab sheet and gave me a zero for reckless experimentation. The reaction was literally just making salt water water and carbon dioxide, the same thing that happens when you mix baking soda and vinegar. Word spread fast. Other teachers started eyeing me suspiciously in the hallways. The principal called me in for a chat about lab safety. My parents got a phone call about my concerning interest in dangerous chemicals. Things escalated when we studied organic chemistry. I mentioned that I'd been reading about how aspirin is synthesized because I wanted to understand how medicines work. Mr. Davidson went pale. You're researching drug synthesis at home? It's just aspirin, I said. I want to be a pharmacist. That's what they all say, he muttered, making a note in his gradebook. The breaking point came during our final exam. One question asked about the chemical equation for photosynthesis. I wrote the standard equation, then added a note explaining how the light-dependent reactions work because I'd studied ahead. When he returned the exams, mine had an F with see me immediately scrawled across it. This level of detail isn't normal for a high school student, he said, waving my paper. Where did you really get this information? From the college textbook my sister gave me, I replied. I like chemistry. Nobody likes chemistry this much unless they're planning something dangerous. I'm recommending you for a disciplinary review. That afternoon, I sat in the principal's office with my parents while Mr. Davidson presented his evidence, my lab reports, my test answers, and a list of my questions from class. Jake has shown an unusual interest in explosive reactions drug synthesis, and advanced chemical processes, he said seriously. These are red flags for potential dangerous behavior. My mom looked at the papers, then at Mr. Davidson. You mean he's interested in chemistry? In chemistry class? It's the intensity of his interest that's concerning, he insisted. My dad pulled out his phone and showed them my search history. All educational chemistry videos, college course materials, and pharmacy school requirements. He wants to be a pharmacist, my dad said calmly. Of course he's interested in chemical reactions. The principal reviewed my actual academic record. Straight A's, no disciplinary issues, volunteer work at the local hospital. Then she looked at Mr. Davidson. You've given an F to a student for knowing too much chemistry? Well, when you put it like that, he started. I'm changing Jake's grade to an A and removing all disciplinary warnings from his file, she said firmly. And Mr. Davidson, we need to discuss appropriate ways to encourage student curiosity. The next day, Mr. Davidson avoided eye contact with me completely. Other students started asking me chemistry questions since I apparently knew more than our teacher thought was normal. By the end of the year, three students had switched out of his class after being accused of suspicious interest in various topics. Meanwhile, the kids who actually weren't paying attention got praised for being appropriately disengaged. 